Hello, it's Will. So today I want to talk to you about a practice that some of you may find surprising. That most, or if not most, uh, a hell of a lot of the world's top businessmen and women carry, carry on. And that's a practice of meditation. When most of us think of meditation, we think of sitting, doing nothing, as it may appear from the outside. And lots of people spend lots of time becoming good at meditation for its own sake. But a lot of people in doing meditation miss the point. They meditate for its own sake. But my form of meditation is slightly different. I believe meditation helps us to become good at life. So meditation to become good at living is for me the secret to successful meditation and it gives us the opportunity to reflect on what exactly we want to achieve, what exactly is our purpose in life. Of course, using the word of meditation and reflecting in the same sentence seems a bit contradictory, but that's a different type of meditation. The meditation carried on by lots of the successful business people is a meditation about becoming more self-aware, more emotionally intelligent, and to do that, it's important to accept our feelings, to understand our feelings, to recognize our feelings, and to allow that understanding and knowledge, increase our understanding and knowledge of other people. So thank you for joining day six of my Facebook Going Live Challenge, a series of short Facebook Lives in which hopefully I will be able to add some value to your practice. If you would like to learn more about my meditation practice, please join my Prosperous Nirvana Facebook group and, I, and my weekly live webinars where I discuss several aspects of becoming more unfuckwittable or to put it in more polite terms, learning to ditch stress and perform better through self-awareness, emotional intelligence and awareness of others. Hopefully we can see you again tomorrow. And thanks, Marina, for joining my Facebook Live this morning. Good to see I I'm not speaking to myself. <laughs> Bye.